parents were obviously a little bit hesitant when we said we we're gonna quit our full-time jobs to basically become full-time trash men. You're taking a major gamble and starting a business in a very blue-collar industry. It's not being a doctor or a lawyer. Our purpose is really to move the world. And it kind of has a double meaning because we're moving and hauling business, but so literally, you know, we want to move people. But more importantly, emotionally, we have an opportunity to make a difference, make an impact in people's lives. We have a huge opportunity to take someone from feeling stress to being stress-free. And that's really our brand promise, stress-free moving and hauling. College Hunks Hauling Junk is a national junk removal and moving service. So what we can do is go in, uh, declutter someone's home. We can also move people from point A to point B full service, come in, pack your items, move your stuff, and then move you into your new home. Right now we're sitting in our 10,000 square foot headquarters based in Ybor City, Tampa, Florida. We acquired and moved into this building about three years ago. About 10 years ago, it was just Omar and myself driving around town in Washington, D.C. in a beat up cargo van. We first heard about Angie's List back when we got started in 2005. Uh, as the years progressed and Angie's List started growing, uh, we began to use it and leverage it more for advertising our services, for connecting with clients. College Chunks today has 80 franchises across the country. We have a thousand team members. Uh, we have a national call center here in Tampa that fields thousands of calls on behalf of all of our franchise owners. Our industry is littered with mediocrity. You see these beat up trucks and you kind of have a bad image of the movers or haulers that are coming into your home. We really want to redefine and reshape the way people experience moving and hauling. Moving is one of the most stressful things in someone's life next to death and divorce. Getting the name out there, having a catchy brand name, bright colors, getting in the press is all part of spreading the name of your company. Reality TV has been a huge driver for us. We were on the very first episode of the very first season of Shark Tank, and that put us on the map. We then were on other shows like CNBC's Blue Collar Millionaire, HGTV House Hunters, Bravo Millionaire Matchmaker, MTV2, Jobs That Don't Suck. So we joke and say that our trucks have been on more reality shows than the Kardashians. <laughs>
in that regard, we actually complement each other very well, you know, from a business perspective. Working for Nick and Omar has been great. They're, they're best friends, they're business partners, they're, they're amazing working together. They're also extremely different. You know, I, I've seen them get in, in scuffles before, but ultimately work it out and move on. Uh, both of them have extreme ambition. They are so still hands-on and still involved, which is one of the reasons why I came to work here. Is it, it, That's an important perk for me to have easy access um, to the ones that actually own the business. They're not your typical CEO and president. They are very in tune with what's going on. Their offices are right here. It's not like they're outside and they come in. They're in the day-to-day -day and they hear, they see, they understand because, well, they were. They were the hunks, the original hunks. So they, they know what it takes and they're very humble about it. When it comes to the service, we start it right from the very get-go, right from the call. So it could be something like a, a birth, it could be a, a death, it could be a promotion. It's not just a move, it's not just junk removal. It is a life-changing event. And with that comes a story. Once we tap into that story, we have a better idea of how we can help our customer. Our biggest obstacle has definitely been the recession back in 08 and 09. You know, if you imagine people can't pay their mortgage or can't buy groceries, they're not going to pay to have junk called away. So it was the lowest point we've had as an organization. You know, I remember kind of sitting in bed thinking, how are we going to get through this? We said, hey, why don't we diversify and add moving services? Uh, so we added full service moving and fast forward today, that's 50% of our revenue comes from moving. Sometimes your lowest point is the biggest opportunity because it forces you to look in the mirror and say, okay, what can I control and what can I do different? We're building leaders within our organization. So even though I'm not coaching basketball within this company, I'm coaching on leadership, on professionalism, on customer service. We've had stuff where a mover has been stuck in an elevator for 30, 40 minutes at a senior community uh, with an elderly lady that can't walk and actually got on all fours, her to sit on his back until the fire department got there. When the elevator doors opened, someone snapped a picture and this photo went viral all over the world. And if you wow a client, especially with everything with social media and online uh, uh, referral sites like Angie's List, you know, that good deed can spread to hundreds if not thousands of people. There's nowhere in the training manual that says, hey, when you're stuck in an elevator, get on all fours and, and let someone sit on your back. But when you hire purpose-driven individuals, people that fit your core values, these really amazing things happen in the community. Our secret sauce is definitely our team members. And what separates us from other moving and hauling companies is we do not hire movers and haulers. We hire future doctors, future lawyers, future Fortune 500 executives. Our entire purpose and core value is building leaders. So we want to empower young people that are working for us to learn about business and to take, you know, working on the truck like it's their own small business. You can take a simple business, a blue collar business, put a fresh spin on it, leverage technology and disrupt industries that people wouldn't think are disruptable. And that's really what motivates us to go out and speak to college students, to go spread the word of college hunks is this story that really is the American dream. Angie's List on three. One, two, three. Angie's List! Ready?